Hi, it's Hope and welcome to the video. As you can tell by the title and the thumbnail, this is going to be five five-star predictions. So essentially these are five books that I think I'm going to give five stars. Um, one of these is carried over from my last video uh, of this kind because I haven't read it yet, but I feel as though it will still be. I will also give an update on my for my last five from my last five star prediction video of what books actually were five stars versus which ones weren't. So this is going to be rapid fire. I'm not going to explain anything about the books. Um, so I'll leave the one that was in the previous video that is being carried over to this one for the first book mentioned in this one. So for Meet Cute Diary by Emery Lee, I gave 4.5. It was a close five, but not quite. For One Last Stop by Casey McQuiston, I did give this five stars, although it was like a lower, a lower five. For The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller, I gave this five stars. For The Well of Ascension by Brandon Sanderson, I ended up giving this four stars. And for If This Gets Out by Sophie Gonzalez and Kale Dietrich, this was five stars. I absolutely loved it. Probably a favorite of the year. So for the first five star prediction in this video, which has been carried over from my last, and I think even my first video of this, because this is my third video, for third, third time, third time doing this video, um, is An Ember in the Ashes by Sabatier. I don't know much about this book, except I've heard it's amazing. So I'm going to read the Goodreads description. Laya? I do not know how that's if that's spelt that if it's pronounced that way. So, Lia is a slave. Eli Elias is a soldier. Neither is free. Under the under the martial em empire, defiance is met with death. Those who do not vow their blood and bodies to the emperor risk the execution of their loved ones and destruction of all they hold dear. In this brutal world, inspired by ancient Rome, that Lia Lia lived with her grandparents and older brother. The family ekes out an existence of the em empire's impoverished back streets. They do not challenge the Empire, they've, they've seen what happens to those who do. But when Lyla's brother is arrested for treason, Lyla is forced to make a decision. In exchange for, her, for help from rebels who promise to rescue her brother, she will, risk her entire, her, she will risk her life to spy for them from within the Empire's greatest military academy. There, Lyla meets Elias, the school's finest sol soldier, and secretly its most unwilling. Elias wants to be free of the, the tyranny He's been trained to enforce. He and Lyle will soon realize that their their destinies are intertwined and their choices will change the fate of the Empire itself. That literally sounds like something I'd love. I've said this in all the videos that I've mentioned this book is I am so excited to read it. Finger cross for 2022. Uh, but I said that for this year as well. So the next book is The Darkness Outside of Us by Elliot Schriefer. I do not know if I'm pronouncing that last name correctly. If I'm not, I apologize. Um, but this book was actually more of a recent edition, and I do feel like it would be five stars based on what I've heard and based on other people's recommendations that they give it five stars, and we have slightly similar reading tastes, so it's a five-star prediction. I'm just going to read the good reading description. Two boys alone in space. After the first settle on Titan trips her distress signals, neither remaining country on Earth can afford to scramble a, a rescue of its own, and the two sworn enemies are installed in the same spaceship. Ambrose awakes up on the coordinated endeavor, and with no memory of launch. There's, there's more that doesn't add up. Evidence indicates strangers have been on board. The ship's operating system is voiced by his mother, and his handsome brooding shipmate has barricaded himself away. But nothing will stop Ambrose from making his mission, mission succeed, not when he's rescuing his own sister. In order to survive the ship's secrets, Am Ambrose and Kodiak will need to work together and learn to trust one another, especially once they discover that they are truly up what they are truly up against. Love might be the only way to survive. Like I've heard it's amazing, that sounds amazing. That's actually like the first time I truly read the description. I just immediately heard of it and was like five star prediction. I'm gonna love that. The next five star prediction is The Atlas Six by Olivia Blake. This, again, I don't know much about, I like going into books not knowing much about, so I'm going to read this, even though it is a massive description. So, the, the Alexandrian Society 
caretaker, caretakers of lost knowledge from the greatest civilizations of antiquity, the most foremost secret society of the magical academ acad academians in the world. Those who earn the place among the Alexandrians will secure a life of wealth, power, and prestige beyond their wildest dreams, and each decade only, only the six most uniquely talented magicians are selected to be considered for initiation. Um, we have the characters, things. When the candidates are recruited by the mysterious Atlas Blakely, they are told they ha will have one year to qualify for initiation, during which time they will be permitted preliminary access to the society's archive, judged based on contributions to the very to, su to the various subjects of impossibility, time and space, luck and thought, life and death. Five, they are told, will be initiated. One will be eliminated. The six potential initiate initiates will fight to survive their way through the next year of their lives. So essentially, six people go into this like competition type thing. Only five make it out. I've heard amazing things about this. Um, I did leave a little bit about out of their description about like the characters because I don't really want to go in knowing about the characters. I know that this recently got picked up by Amazon to be a TV show or movie. It also got picked up by, oh, what publishing company? Um, was it Tor? Yeah, Tor Books, which is a UK publishing company. It was originally self-published, um, but I've heard that, like, I just, I just know I'm going to love it. The next book is All of Us Villains by Amanda Foody and Christine Lynn Herman. I'm borrowing this from my library, so I probably will be reading this beginning of January. So, like, just be aware that this is one that I do plan on reading very soon. So, essentially, every generation at, at the coming of the Blood Moon, seven families in the remote city of Ilvernath each name a champion to compete to the secret tournament to the death. The prize, exclusive control over a secret wellspring of high magic, the most powerful resource in, in the world one thought to be long depleted. This year, a, a salacious tell-all book has exposed the tournaments and then and thrust the seven new champions into a worldwide spotlight. The book also granted them valuable information previous champ champions never had. Insight to the other family strategies, secrets, and weaknesses. And most important, it gives them a choice. Accept their fate and, or rewrite their legacy. This way, either the story must be penned in blood. That just sounds what I love. Um, fun fact, I'm the first person to borrow this from my library. I don't know why I felt like I'm like, fun fact. Um, but I just, I loved Amanda Foodie's Shadow, Shadow Game series. Like, that is, like, one of my favorite series. So I'm excited to see how this goes. Also, I've never read anything by Christine Lynn Herman, although I own one of her books. Um, but I just feel like I'm going to enjoy this so much. The next is A Dark and Hollow Star by Ashley Shuttleworth. Again, this is a book I've just heard amazing things about. It's also queer, fey, and set in Canada. That's really all I know, so again, I will read the description. Choose your player, the iron, the ironborn half fate outcast of her royal family, a temptress fury exiled to earth from the immortal realm and hellbent on revenge. A dutiful prince determined to earn his place on the throne, the prince's brooding guardian burdened with a terrible secret. For centuries, the eight courts of the, the for centuries, the eight courts of folk have lived among us, concealed by magic and bound by logic no harm to humans. This arrangement has been long kept peace in the courts until a series of grues gruesome and, ri and ritualistic murders rocks the city of Toronto and threatens to expose fairies to the human world. Four queer teens, each who hold a key piece of the truth behind these murders, form a, ten a tenuous alliance in their efforts to track down the mysterious killer behind these tr crimes. If they fail, they risk the destruction of the fairy and human worlds alike. If it's not bad enough, there's a war brewing between the mortal and a, the mortal and immor, immortal realms, and one of these teams is destined to tip the scale. The only question is which way. Wish them luck; they're gonna need it. Literally, literally. Also, cover, cover. I think I saw this cover and just went, "Holy shit!" Um, so yeah, those are five books that I'm very excited for, for various reasons. Um, a lot of them are just that the, the description sounds like something I'd love or sounds similar to something that I gave five stars or like all of that. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know your five star predictions down below. If you've read any of these and what your rating was or if you are interested in any of these. 
Um, I really hope to hear your thoughts in the comments below and bye!